Holistic Radio, Spiritual Radio. This is AchieveRadio.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash achieve radio. I'm Anne-Marie, and thanks a lot for joining today for Tarot, Angels, and Coffee. I hope to hear from you in some form or way, whether it be by phone, which would be calling 602-666-6027, or by inquicking your question. Whether you come in through the Achieve TV program or whether you come in through the YouTube Live posted also on the blog, just go to the blog on Achieve Radio and it'll be right there. Um, you'll be able to get your reading live and I'll be looking at you as I give you your angel message reading. So calm your life storm with me today. If you're having any problems at work uh, with that angry person that maybe has not been giving you a fair shot, or maybe you are having just some struggles spiritually, um, whatever it is, a romance, career, uh, creative venture or an angel message reading because that's what I'd really like to focus on today is an angel message reading. So um, another thing that I want to talk about that's very important to me is the what is the angel frequency? <clears throat> you know now I checked all over the internet because um, I know that I have my beliefs and feelings about what an angel frequency is. But when I looked through the internet, most of the people talked about it being love or peace or, um, you know, the higher frequency of uh, enlightenment. But the main thing that I feel that it is, is first of all, I believe the angel frequency is that zone in which athletes, artists, scientists, teachers, and mentors, recording artists, intuitives, and musicians, writers, and planners go into where all the movement, thought, and all of the analyzing joins with automatic pilot, and it just becomes very, very calm. It's where the worry, the bills, the expectations completely detach from us. And it is the, not, the non-thought process that Buddhist monks like to talk about when they are teaching meditation. The angel frequency is also the place where many, including myself, hear a very high-pitched frequency in the background. And I've been hearing that frequency almost all of my life. Some say that the more evolved spiritually or in one with your spirit, you become that higher frequency, kind of, you hear it in the background more and more, <clears throat> but it's not, it is a little like the nervous system you hear when everything is very, very quiet, but I believe it's more like when you tune into a radio channel, you're just allowing that frequency of calm to enter you. And you, that's where you'll have your best strategy work. 
and your most intuitive, wise decisions are made. I have also called the angel frequency ever since I was a kid, whale pinging. Because like whale sonar, that really high frequency coming from within us is thrown out, I believe, by our soul or our angels and intuition. And we're, we're kind of throwing it out and waiting for an answer, another frequency to come back. And most of the time, most of us don't even know that we're doing it. The angel frequency may also be the very frequency that we are throwing out when we're searching for a soulmate. How so? Well, it's kind of like we're throwing out that frequency and waiting for um, another frequency to come back and harmonize and wrap with ours so that we know that we have found our one harmonizing soulmate. As an artist told me once, the only time that you completely obliterate your intuition is when you analyze it. Analyzing and intuition are two totally different frequencies. To analyze has its place, of course, in our life. It's part of being an intelligent human being. But it is also the destroyer of the angel frequency. Ask any great Olympic athlete, when did they start klutzing up? When did they start making mistakes? And you will probably hear them say it's when they started thinking too much. As long as they're in the zone, in the calm of the angel frequency, they are not thinking. Because the angel frequency has a thinking process all its own. It's more based on feeling. Whereas analyzing and thinking too much is just a, it's kind of like that time when you're at work learning a new job or learning a new computer or learning anything new and you start over analyzing and overthinking and pretty soon you start doing inappropriate stupid body mo you know movements or you or you crash the computer or you start to um you know, think too much and miss your opportunity that you should have taken a window on and do right away. That's when you destroy the angel frequency with analyzing too much. So the angel frequency is that non-thought process, the calm, where you're one with yourself and the world no fancy meditation needed. No thousand dollar angel course to get in touch with your intuition is needed. Because honey, you've had it ever since you were a baby. There have always been times when you've been in the zone and one with yourself and calm. You may notice that some people are morning people and some people are are night people. Usually that's based on when they're more in tune with themselves, which is related to when their angel frequency is strongest. For me, my angel frequency is strongest in the morning. So, just remember, this is what the angel frequency is all about. Okay? So, I hope that you will join me today. And um, we do have Debbie from Pennsylvania, and Jan is uh, from LA. And um, 
Jan types twice, uh, do we have an angel message reading? Absolutely, Jan. Um, so since Debbie is in the room um, and calling in, I will get to Jan next. And I do so hope you will join us for an angel message reading. Hi, Debbie. How are you today? I'm doing very well today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What's going on with Debbie today? I um, just called for a reading. Um, had a, a nice vacation. I came back refreshed, and now I'm trying to make some decisions and stick by and focus. So just a quick angel reading. Um, see what you see. All right. Okay, well, an angel message reading is just kind of the same as telling you where your energy is and where okay. it's going to be. And what comes through, Debbie, says that in the past, your angels were very proud of you for being supportive of other people in your life. But somewhere along the way, you gave too much of yourself away. So now, your angels are saying, maybe it's time to not try to embrace everybody else's issues and just embrace your own at this time. It's hard sometimes to look away or detach from the people that you care about, but it's not that you're being cruel or you're being mean to them. It's just saying, mm -hmm. Build up your own self-confidence. Build up your own strengths at this time. Um, you can always go back to being the caretaker and the person that fixes everybody later. But right now, work on you. Was there a specific um, decision that you were trying to debate on, Debbie, that you'd like me to read on? Um I, I want to get out of my career, well, where I'm at, my job environment, and then I want to get out of my home environment. So it's like a catch-22. I don't have the finances, and I know that shouldn't hold me back because I know I can do it. So basically, I want to focus on um, getting out of my environment. Your job? My job. Okay. So if I look at... Um, getting out of your present job and just what comes up on that. And it says at this particular time, Debbie, um, of course, the one thing that you want is to have something else to go to, right? So right. Right. Uh, you don't want to quit pell-mell and then find that your security is gone. So the number right. one thing to think about is what are you going to go to that's going to give you equal, if not better pay? And it says, understand that there will be some people around you that kind of go into big time drama when you make that decision to move on. Yeah, your reading say. says it's not your problem to try to uh, yeah. appease them because this is for you and this is probably what your um, energy reading was saying is that as you kind of turn your, not turn your back, but walk away from people that depend on you, they like to do the yeah. guilt trip on you. So your reading right. is right. saying... Uh, don't allow yourself in your in, no. in your security level to become shattered because others are okay. laying a guilt trip on you. It shows right. also in the future. Um, I believe that you are going to find that a job comes back into your life, but I'm shown the number eight, which says to me you may find that this is about a two month process. And that um, the right job will come, but it seems to be more around the end of September, beginning of October. Okay. Your, reading, your reading also says the last thing you want right now when you go into a new job is start to do the same pattern and fix and nurture and do everything twice as good, if not twice as fast, as twice as, as productive as everybody else. Because guess what, Debbie? You will find yourself going back to being miserable. Right, Your reading right, says right. that you just... You're a passionate person. You like to feel with intensity whatever you get into. 
and that oh. your reading says <laughs> that all you ask of the universe is not to let you have a stupid attack and do it again. <laughs> Follow that pattern of of okay. you know sabotaging yourself by um, making yourself overwhelmed. So I believe another job is coming in two months. I believe that you have a lot of thinking to do about you know um, focusing on not trying to be the rescuer and the savior of the new job you get into. Um, there is a strength about you and people want to lay their cares on you, but don't let it happen and you'll be great. You'll do just fine and you'll be a lot less miserable. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Does that make sense? It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yes, okay. ma'am. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Deb. Take, Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, All right. We have Jan in the room. And Jan um, says that she wants an angel message reading. And so I will start out with looking at what comes up around uh, Jan. And... Um, you say in the next three weeks, Jan, uh, I'm just going to see what comes up, period. And um, if you want me to focus on the last part about what happens in three weeks, I can sure do that. But let's just start out with an angel message reading. Okay. Your angel message reading says that in the past, Jan, you went through a time where you were sleepwalking. Now, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, actual sleepwalking. It just seems like you kind of did things automatically without really getting into them. And you started um, what you, you know, they call automatic muscle reflex. It's kind of like when your body starts taking over and getting into this pattern where you do things and you're not even happy, sad, you're just, you're just doing them. Your reading says that that's when you lost your power because when you started to stop thinking about what it was that you wanted for yourself. You fell into a pattern of sleepwalking and went happily and quietly and very um, perplexingly into uh, insecurity because that's what happened when you started going into stagnation. One of the things your reading says, your angel reading says, is it's very important that you start communicating more with people around you. If you find yourself at a job or in a family situation, and you're just automatically expecting everybody to read your mind because you've gotten into a stagnant rut, and your reading says that what's going to happen is that people will take advantage of your sleepwalking. They will start to get in between your motions and start to counteract you. They'll start to do things when you're not looking. They'll start to do things and say things um, that are double talking. And if you're so busy, huh, sleepwalking, you won't even notice it's happening. So your reading says have absolutely no doubt that this is a time in your life when you need to wake up Start being more ambitious. Take some lessons from Deb. She seems to be the opposite of you. You need to wake up and get yourself out of stagnation and out of sleepwalking and find your find your calling. Find your um, what it is you want for yourself. Because the only way it's going to happen is, A, if you stop thinking that people are going to be able to just know and read your mind and B, when you start to really take ambitious um, action 
to start to do things. People can't trick you anymore. People can't um, take advantage of your sleepwalking anymore. That's what happens when you get out of stagnation. When you start to think about strategizing what it is you want, what it is that you hope to attain within the next coming months, you're going to find that getting out of sleepwalking mode and taking ambitious um, effort, and even if it's scary, and even if it's things that are not comfortable and take you out of your comfort zone, it's going to help you to improve Prove yourself and get out of your rut. So if I go into more detail about that. Huh, oh, well, I don't know how, but Jan, we went into concrete jungle and I don't know if that's symbolic or not, but that says to me that you may have found yourself into a concrete jungle of some sort. Um, and we will uh, thank um, Bob Marley's uh, spirit for helping us to analyze what your uh, dysfunction was. Uh, so I'm going to play that after this too. Um, so after uh, we did that little reading, I'm going to do something more detailed for you. Jan, your reading says that you are surrounded by a comfortable place where you think, you feel that you know where you stand. But your reading says that one of the things you need to stop doing is thinking about what you want to do and start doing it. You've got the basis for creating things for yourself that with motivation, can really take you great places. You've got a better foundation than most. So getting yourself out of the stagnation and getting out of your comfort zone while you've got this great foundation is going to give you thousands more steps ahead than the average person that has to start from the beginning. Your reading says, and that's what it says, time for a new beginning in your life. Your reading says that in the past, you may have done something or made a choice that was not necessarily productive for yourself. This seems to have happened within the last nine weeks to nine months. It could have also been a legal issue that did not go well for you. Your reading says that in the future, there is somebody that would like to make you feel guilty for getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things. But your reading says, if you find yourself confused because somebody's been double talking, telling you on one way that what you need to do is, is you know, get going and do something with yourself and make your make yourself more productive, but then stepping in your path and putting chains in the road to get in your way from preventing you from doing more productive things. And if you find yourself confused by that, well, there's a good reason. Somebody has been double talking you while you've been sleepwalking. Your reading says that right now, the last thing you want is to become a victim of your circumstances, Jan. And your reading also says that you have it within you to be aggressive and to do great things with your life. But it also says there's a part of you that is in caution mode. You that's Remember when I said the one destroyer of the angel frequency is analyzing too much. When you start to analyze your angel frequency, when you start to get creative and get in the zone and then suddenly go, uh oh, and what about this? What about that? What if this happens? What if that happens? You have now sabotaged your angel frequency. So, Get out of the cautionary mode. Your reading says that it's time for you to pull out of your sleepwalking 
It's time for you to get out of your comfort zone. You have a wonderful basis, a wonderful foundation to do amazing things that other people can't do from starting from the beginning. You have knowledge skills that others don't have. All you need is the motivation and the desire to get out of your comfort zone. And I believe that if you can do that and prevent someone from getting in your way who's double talking you while you're sleepwalking and telling you one thing and then doing another to get in your way, you need to pull out of that situation. You need to take care of that. And that's what I see, Jan. Okay? Okay. So now we're going to go back to Bob Marley and we're going to play Concrete Jungle. And maybe you want to take out your hula hoop and do some, some hip exercises or something. But we are going to uh, play old, um, you know, Bob here and... Uh, <laughs> 